Okay, Sranny, you want to tell us what you're doing here? Mm -mm. Sranny, tell us what you're doing here. No. What are you doing here? Why aren't you in another country? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the first six ponds done. Uh, they're about 20, 25 meter. Good 25 meter by one and a half meter wide by about 70 anywhere from 50 to 70 maybe some parts 80 centimeters deep uh, if you don't count the planting strip that we added on the top put all the good soil on the tops for planting so basically everything's gonna start up here and then discharge 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 and then over here we're gonna run a discharge into our main pond over here which is a deep pond so we can raise fry in all these but the main idea is uh, the uh, growing water plants for for feed feed supplement but of course we can grow some nice corn or something or beans or something on top maybe if I can find soybean seeds we can grow soybeans here it's very high protein probably about 50 percent 45 50 percent but barring that we'll just grow plants that grow well in shade on these strips because Serrani's garden here isn't the best garden in the world but at least it's pretty <laughs> at least it's producing something see we do have some little peppers coming here I think oh no they probably fell off by now uh, this is the antrua what's antrua in English you don't know bitter bitter something bitter something bitter antrua and the big big black ants are biting these things so that was a little disappointing of course her ginger is doing good and her uh, beans beans are doing really well and the peanuts the peanuts are doing fantastic they already flowered so it's, they're forming nice peanuts underground and, uh, and this is more beans and then over here is the added that will be feed the quails which is like an Indian uh, not basil what is the other thing the name of it uh, Indian uh, uh, the garnish for spaghetti what's it called again oregano oregano indian oregano and then over here is the ajuma which got completely devoured the ajuma peppers completely devoured by red ants so so uh, uh, and over here is the, the black pepper plant anyhow we'll show you how this water's going to fall i showed you the back end we're going into the, the big main pond the deep pond and uh, we have to build a drop from this one to that one this pond to that pond and this one already has the drop and then you can see it drops down further here and further here it's, uh, I guess Monday I'll probably start lining them with plastic and then the final drop down into here then the other end of the pond of course will, will uh, water will exit so the water just maintains the flow here it doesn't overflow and you can control your your growth of your aquatic plants and fish of course a little bit of netting on the on the uh, transfer pipes here would be quite beneficial we're just looking at getting this plantation over here which will add another 40 meters by 180 meters to our main plantation giving us several hectares of land for this, this particular plantation. So you see probably be around 10 acres. The acres and this is the Moke tree and all the other trees. All the adult trees are in here. And, uh, almost all the fruits you can think of are in this other plantation already full grown. So, so uh, we're gonna look at uh, buying this one up and uh, adding this to our existing plantation which uh, is not only a plantation but a fishery it's growing all kinds of exotic fish and, and uh, food food fish go up on this hill here there's not too many snakes we do have a lot of snakes here. and the container which is the sport containers going down over there. I saw some videos yesterday of moving that thing. And we got it up on blocks now. 
And that'll be the support container for batteries and such for the gold house over there, which will be growing the North American fruits and peaches, plums, prunes, apricots, pears, apples, apple pears. And uh, soon if we get uh, our offer accepted for this next plantation next door, it will have all the adult fruit trees we just talked about. And they have an abundance of them, so it would be really nice to get that and add this to our asset here. There's the big banana group there, and our banana rows where we have bananas from all over the world. We're hoping to add that to that soon. Uh, some other, another variety from in Indonesia, a variegated banana. Having a little bit of trouble with the vendor, but uh, hopefully that'll be rectified soon. And all the glory to God for what he's done for us here. Okay, that's all for now, folks.